Hey folks, Replay Frank. Well, the video's late again. I'm getting a lot of that lately. But it's kidding season for the goats, so I've got 10 baby goats so far this year. I still have a couple does that haven't kitted yet, so I'll be bringing you those videos soon. Well, tonight I got a video about goats are awesome. And a bunch of various clips of my goats doing cool things and stuff you guys need to learn. And you guys are going to love it. And then later we're going to play a song by the Who. The kids are all right. Okay, let's get going. Here's what happens when you move some stuff. The goats are so curious they have to come to see what you've done. and See how they climb up there and she's eating my pine trees. Isn't that wonderful? Don't hurt yourself, honey. Isn't this adorable? See, some of these big giant round bales are stuck together so hard you just can't pull it apart no matter what you do. So I use my little excavator there and it still won't come apart. It just kind of tears it apart like one great big hairball. I don't know where you're going to find a cat big enough to choke on that. <laughs> All right, here's the problem with round bales, guys. You see that white stuff on there? That's mold. And we live in a very wet climate here. I'm on the west coast of Canada, and we get a hell of a lot of rain. And these guys that cut hay in my area, they have no clue how to friggin' do anything here without keeping them from getting wet. So you gotta be real careful of that, guys. If you live in a dry climate, you might not have this problem, but you know, it's not a good situation. And my goats will eat some of this bale, but I'm worried that they're going to get sick, so I'm not going to feed it to them. The goats love to climb. This trailer makes a nice little ramp. They can play king of the hill. Something over, spilt their beer or something. Is that you, Nibbles? Well, it looks like Beatrice got her head stuck in the feeder. I have no idea how she's done that, but I tried getting her out and her head's too wide to pull out. See, look, she's trying to pull out and she can't come up. So I got a jack and we're going to spread the feeder with this jack and get her out that way. So you got to make sure when you got a farm, guys, you got to have all these different kinds of tools and gadgets and so on. And don't be afraid to use it because have to do what you have to do when you have a farm. Is that enough? Come on, let's try. Here, see it didn't take much. A couple turns and that was all it took. Okay, you're just coming to clean up the feeders. And there's one upside down. Now, see what happens when a feeder is upside down? Sometimes. Oh, hello. See, I think what happens is they get up on the edge of the feeder there when it's empty and then they try and peck the food out of the feeder and it flips over upside down on top of them. Because sometimes I've seen this about three or four times now and uh, you've got to make sure that you don't leave them out here overnight like that because raccoons could get them. What is that noise? Oh, we got some visitors. What is that noise? Oh, look, you found the garbage can. Isn't that wonderful? The joys of having goats. We found the garbage can. Well, have fun, ladies. And please clean it up when you're done. <laughs> Are we having a tailgate party?
trying to get some work done here. And I've got my helpers all standing here trying to stay dry out of the rain. And here's the aftermath of that little party. <laughs> it's like Woodstock or something. So here's Mummy's baby. And you can see how scruffy her hair is. Well, that's a winter coat. And you can see that darker hair like on, above on her neck there, underneath. And some types of goats take longer to get rid of their winter coat than others. It's April right now, so most of my goats have lost theirs already, but I still have a couple that are like this and sometimes it's a sign that they have parasites or maybe calcium or copper deficiency vitamin deficiency but mummy's baby's a good eater so she's always like this i've had her i think she's six or seven years old now and lived here all her life and she always one of the later ones to lose their winter coat so just keep an eye on them and Keep an eye on for the signs of parasites like diarrhea and check the eyelids, make sure that they're pink. Make sure she's staying with the herd and eating properly and all those kinds of things that healthy goats do. Another thing you can watch for is sometimes when goats aren't feeling well, They'll lay down and they'll be up on their knees on their front legs like they're holding their chest up off the ground and Sometimes they do that when they got a stomach issue And they don't feel good but This is a normal way a goat lays down When they're in good health and when they're not sick Another thing you can do is you can feel her ears to see if they're cold if the end of her ears are cold if it's like a day like today where it's like 15 degrees celsius out ears shouldn't be cold but if they are that means it could be an infection like some kind of a from an injury or some kind of intestinal infection or something so that's another thing you can keep an eye on and then there's another thing you see the rings on her horns there you see how it has that dark band about an inch above her head there? That was a, probably last year when we were having trouble getting enough feed for our goats. Or the, one of those rings, there's a smaller ring farther up. And see that could be a sign that they had a tough time there, like not getting enough feed or parasite load or something. So you can keep an eye on that too. And you can also count their rings. Some goats, you can see those rings. That's about a year apart. Like the, the thicker one closer to her head is a year. And the smaller one farther up is two years. And you can see another one about two inches above that. So that would be three years. And, and I can lose track of it after that. But that's a way to tell how old a goat is. Another way is to check their teeth. If her teeth are bad, I mean, you can kind of see that she's chewing here. And goats only have teeth on the front and the bottom jaw. They don't have teeth on their top jaw. So you can see her teeth as she's chewing there. And they still look healthy. She's not one that would let me put my fingers in her mouth. So that's another thing you can do. See, she's chewing her cud. She's barking up uh, food that she ate earlier in the day from one of her stomachs because goats have four stomachs so they regurgitate the food out of the first stomach after a while after it's fermented in there for a while and then they chew it for a while and then they'll swallow it and you watch her neck you'll see another bump come up and she'll start chewing again that's a good sign that they're healthy if they're not doing that then it means they've got something wrong with their rumen and their stomach. So what I usually do is, if it doesn't go away in a day or two, a couple days, I'll give her a probiotic. And you can get probiotic paste at the feed store that's for horses, but you can give it to goats. No problem. 
or you can get probiotic pills for people and you can crush them up and put it in her water see she swallowed watch another bump will come up her neck see see she's chewing properly that's what they're supposed to look like when they're healthy see here's another example of a, the goat on the left here is taking a while to lose all our winter coat hello sweetheart and this goat here has lost most of her a little bit down on the bottom but this other goat here had a heavy parasite problem earlier this year like maybe three months ago and I treated her successfully and she's doing very well now but uh, she's another one of my goats that has a trouble losing all her hair or winter fur in a hurry and this little goat here this one doesn't have any problems she's starting to have a bit of diarrhea there now yesterday but I think it's dry today so that's probably just from the spring grass and she's still got loads of energy so I'm not gonna go worming her right away I'm gonna keep an eye on her and if the, as long as that dries up then it's just something she ate check her eyelids make sure they're pink see this little baby goat was born in October and it's April now you can see she's her bum is black like that she doesn't have diarrhea that's just the color of this goat's skin so she's doing well and she's actually still nursing the odd time off of her mom Isn't that right, sweetheart? Smile for the camera. Everybody wants to see how pretty you are. We love you. Hello, sweetheart. Another one here that loves fingers, which she likes to chew on my fingers. Go ahead, you can chew on my fingers if you want. It's okay. See, we love you. What a dear goat you are. I just ate a brown muffin. <laughs> okay, you can chew but don't bite. Because you're a sweetheart and we love you. There's another sweetheart here. You want to chew on fingers too? Not really? Maybe a little bit? Oh, what's the matter? Don't I feed you enough? You got to eat me too? You ever heard that saying, don't bite the hand that feeds you? This goat here had a bad problem with foot rot and I treated her by washing it with water and bleach and then with copper coat. And within about two days after that she was walking normally and she's still good. Who's this? Oh, Angel. Hi Angel. Everybody wants to see how pretty you are. Are you pretty? Look how pretty you are. Hi, sweetheart. Angel. Oh, come and say hi to everybody. Everybody wants to see how pretty you are. Look how sweet you are. That's a little sweetheart. It's another little sweetheart, La Mantra Doe. It likes to suck on my fingers. This one had a little bit of a parasite problem too earlier, about well, three months ago, and I treated her successfully, and she's in good health now. It's a little bit too young for breeding though. Oh, there's Heidi. How's Heidi today? See, Heidi's starting to lose most of her winter fur and she's starting to get this bottle kind of a look. And she's in good health though, I'm not worried about her. And this one here, this one's Ginger. She's my little year old Lamantra doe and she's got some winter fur still. So she's in good shape, she's got lots of, lots of weight on her, no diarrhea. Lots of energy, she's eating well. Hi Coco, and come and say hi to everybody. Hi sweetie, we love you. Coco's lost almost her winter fur too. And she had a problem with mastitis last year. 
You can see one of her teats is still a little bit too big, but I made sure not to breed her this year because I don't want to breed goats that have mastitis. There's one issue here. I'll do another video on it where the bucks got out and then five months later I got two goats with a history of mastitis that are having babies. Okay, here's Goldie. And Goldie had a problem with an infection in her foot, her right rear foot. You can see that her hoof is somewhat deformed. And I got her like that. So what we did was we got warm water and bleach and I washed her feet. And then I, first I sprayed it with the iodine wound dressing and that cleared it up for a couple days and then she started limping again. So I washed it again with the hot water and bleach and then I used copper coat. There's a product called copper coat. I painted that on her feet and it smells awful but it sure killed that infection. And then I trimmed her hoof up real well and she's walking on it normally. But she's starting to hold it up again so I'm gonna redo that treatment again here. See, she had a bit of diarrhea. That's a long time ago when she had that diarrhea. Probably two months ago already. Sometimes it sticks in the hair on their tail and you just can't seem to get rid of it. Even when they're outside in the rain. You see, she's good and healthy. She's putting on weight. She's eating well. So I'm not worried about her. I'll, I'll treat her foot one more time. And it should be good. Because we have so much wet here. It's so wet and rainy here. That I've got problems with hoof rot. I had hoof rot quite bad in a couple of goats this year. And we had to wash it and treat it with the copper coat. And they're all walking normally again now. So the best thing to do if you got hoof rod is try and get a bunch of sawdust. Get a load of like wood chips or sawdust, like the finer sawdust, like pine shavings is good. Put it somewhere with a roof, like you make up some shelter roof type thing, put under there. And then the goats can go and they can stand there and they can dry their feet. Because if they're walking around in the mud all the time, then they're going to have that problem. She also sprained her leg last fall. She's walking around with, and somehow she sprained her, her leg part way up at the top, the second joint down, I think. Not the one way up where it joins to her pelvis, but the second joint down got sprained somehow. So I basically had her in the barn for the entire winter because I didn't want her out there stumbling around when it's frozen and snowing and getting bullied by the other goats. So that took a long time for that to heal. There wasn't a whole lot I could do. I made sure that the bones weren't broken. And she wasn't in pain or anything like that. So just make sure that if you do get a goat that gets hurt, hurts one of their legs, so make sure that you've got a place to put them where they can stay in because you don't want the other goats to bully them and you don't want them out at night because predators could get them if they can't run away and get back in the barn. Look at this fog. It's freezing right now. That fog gets so thick you can only see about 10 feet in front of you. So what do you think, girls? Think we should pack it all up and move down to Florida? <laughs> I don't mind other guys dancing with my girl. That's fine. I know them all pretty well. And I know that sometimes I must get out in the light. Better leave her behind where the kids are all. So 